Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. What? I don't even know. What's happening, YouTube? What's happening, Verbally Vicious Nation? I got to do videos for this page, politics page, and uh, Kush and Sativa's Verbally uh, Vicious Fish page today. So let's get going. Besides that, I have to go to Vadness Heights, Minnesota, and run another comedy show there. First of all, I want to thank all you guys for tuning in to Kevin Kraft's Sativa's over there. He just figured out that he gets to uh, do a video today, and he's going bonkers. Just, uh, just wanted to say, Kevin Kraft's blog TV on Sunday night, man. How cool was that? That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Hundreds of people in there. At one point, the chat room itself uh, went over 100 people. Uh, there were a couple hundred watching watching the show, and you got to see uh, uh, what we do on the weekends, my club out in Coon Rapids, Minnesota, where, good God, we had almost 20 comics. The show was closed out by Josh Tinney, the Verbally Vicious uh, member. You don't get to see that often, so that was really good, man. That was really cool. I want to thank you guys for watching that, because unlike certain partners with... Next to no subscribers still, no fan base and full of shit. If I say we do something, we do something. Like if I said I speak six languages and write in six languages, I would do that. I don't. But if I said that, I would do that. If I said I had a dance studio, uh, I would dance. But I didn't say that. I wouldn't show a little piece of paper that says, Troy D's Dance Studio. I wouldn't just talk this shit. If I said I was going to kick your ass, I would beat you retarded. But I don't say that. I just put the offers out there to allow you to kick mine. Anyway, let's have the fun today, huh? Let's do a... And we'll talk about that thing at the end there. Let's talk about Edgar Mitchell. Ladies and gentlemen, NASA astronaut Edgar Mitchell. Apollo 14 mission, moonwalking son of a bitch, a man who has been to space over and over and has absolutely no reason to lie in the direction that people are saying he's lying. In fact, most astronauts are told to lie in the opposite direction. Now, am I Alex Jones? Am I Art Bell? And am, I, am I John Lear? No. Those guys are interesting, but they're a little too kooky for me. I'm open-minded about stuff. And the fact that Edgar Mitchell has not once, but probably 20 times, and now this weekend in front of a very large audience, said, it is not discussable. It is absolute fact. It happened. We in NASA that are in the higher echelon, those in government that are in higher echelon, it isn't a rumor. It's not some Da Vinci Code, angels and demon shit. We have been and are still being visited by life forms from other planets. This is a man who walked on the moon. This is someone respectable in their position saying this. So at this point, it doesn't become about what I really believe or what you really believe. It becomes about, do you believe the expert? Do you believe the guy that specializes in going to outer space? Because the uproar now is the church and people, well, not even the church, because actually, of all things, the Vatican last year said it's okay to believe in aliens. First of all, thanks Vatican for telling me what it's okay to believe in. But secondly, so many religious people, because I read this on AOL.com, and on the bottom it's like, The Lord shall smite thee who believeth in this absurdness, this, this, bless the blood. Motherfucker, you read a book with talking bushes in it. You read a book where people ride around in whales and don't get freaking acidically gestated over a week-long period, and they just, whoop, hop right on out and hang out. You read books where three dudes, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, walk into a fire and just chill. Cool in your head. Got a little fire. Got a little fire. And besides a few crazy crazies out there, no one's really telling you not to believe that. And it's not handed to you. There is nothing but the words in that book. No one, no one alive at that time is here. No one that wrote that book is alive right now going, no, dude, totally. My name is Moses and I had a freaking in-depth conversation with a burning bush. Because the irony of your belief system is even though there are people in the Bible who built giant arcs and and uh, talked to burning bushes and uh, 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 divided seas and uh, ascended into heaven on fiery chariots, which, by the way, sounds a lot like a UFO there, Elijah. Um, 
people who walked in amongst fire, people who laid with lions, all these great stories that you believe 100%. If someone today told you they had a conversation with a burning bush or they rode around in a whale or they split the Red Sea, you'd have them committed. The same people that read the book and believe the fairy tale. If someone said today that it happened to them, you'd have them committed. But yet, a man who travels in outer space, this is something not made up, he really does. He really did walk on the surface of another astral body. He really did. He really did. For those of you that don't think the moon landings happened, you're out of your mind. They happened. Um, this is a man who's seen things firsthand, and everybody just thinks he's out of his freaking mind. And I love it. Poor Edgar Mitchell. Let me say something. I believe you. I absolutely, 100%, unequivocally, believe you. And that's your question of the day today, guys. Do you believe Edgar Mitchell? Do you believe that we have been and are being and will still be visited by alien life form? And is that wrong? Because I will tell you that original biblical text out there, original Christian belief was, to try to even go to the moon would be the end of this planet. God would shut her down. But yet, we've been to the moon a number of times. So once again, pretty flawed plan you got over there. And, uh, and you know, and that's the people. And, I, and why am I making it about the religion stuff? Because I don't see any atheists, any agnostics, or, you know, anybody else out there trashing this dude. It's all evangelical, hardcore Christians that are attacking this dude because you're not upset that he's saying that, uh, is that you, you feel like he's opposing your entire belief system not that he saw aliens that's where it comes from you know it so what do you guys think did this guy see aliens or not and do you really care I'm going to close out by saying this today uh, definitely check out the Verbally Vicious Fish page and check out Horror Politics because I'm going to do videos over there uh, just went over 4,000 subscribers here man did it without any big contest. Did it without really giving too much shit away. Did it without uh, really shitting on other partners. And uh, for those of you that are hardcore fans that watch every day, you know the person that we're talking about right now. And I'm not really acknowledging them because uh, they're about to go away. So I do want to say to the Tragonaut who got suspended once again because you're not a partner and therefore they let partners... Partners out there, stop using your authority too much. If somebody one stars me or says things about me, I just you know it might piss me off. I might have an argument with them back and forth, but I don't report them to YouTube because I'm a goddamn grown up. So Trag, we'll get you back on. When you're back on, we'll give you a push. Bonacelli's world, I'll do the same thing for you because you got flagged and reported on by a partner who overstepped his authority. And to the 85 pound, 13 year old gangster. That is Swagger Productions, who you will. Don't worry, even though you got suspended. I was in trouble before I was a partner. You will be a partner. We will put you on. The fact that you got in that dude's crawl. And he talked to you like that. And you're, yeah, I mean, I'm not picking on you, but you're a tinier guy. You're 13. You're not supposed to be huge. Dude, you keep a gangster. We'll get back at you, Swagger Productions. You keep your head up, man. We'll get you back on. Thanks for viewing, guys. Go check out the rest of the stuff. 4,000 subscribers. Can't wait till 10,000. Really appreciate it. My name is Daryl Horner. I approve this message. Love, peace, hair grease. Welcome to the nation. All that good stuff. And remember, guys, I hope you're getting over yourself. Because I get over myself every day. Later.